comes. So ideally, it is assumed that if somebody is going to offer an institute, he must have vision before opening the institute. Okay. Now, so what is vision? Vision is that why I am offering this institute. That means where this institute will going to reach after say 20 years, 10 years, not less than that. Missions are usually for 20 years. So after 20 years, where I want to see that my institute will grow up to what level, what, where it will stand, and what is mission. Mission is the path to be followed to achieve that vision. Okay, so <laughs> it is kind of uh, when uh, institute or university going to be extinguished. Vision must be defined that time itself. Okay, and there's another thing we will find that if there is some school under this university or some department under some institute, they are also having their own vision and mission. So what is that? Now, if our university or institute having a vision, who will going to achieve this vision? The institute or university itself, nothing. It is just union of all the department and school communitively, you know, going to achieve the vision. So, first thing, any department vision must be aligned with the institute vision and mission. Next, as the department of a school going to you know, offer some courses, they must have some vision of what you know who will be passed out from the department or you know with the degree where they will go. That vision should be there with them. Another thing, they must be concerned about the parent or uh, the guardian of the student, alumni, students and employee and employers and industry people what they concern about and finally wh where the department want to see itself after 10 or 20 years and how it is going to you know, help the institute to achieve the institute vision during that time by achieving its own vision also. So by doing this analysis our school or department may have its own vision and definitely again it will have a mission which will guide it to achieve that vision. Okay. So once the department or a school going to you know, formulate its vision and mission, it is usually going to be some uh, you know, submitted to some uh, academic council for approval or some you know, deals committee, whatever it is, that is different things. So this is the story behind it. So, whenever we look at some vision or mission, we, sometimes you read it or sometimes you overlooked it, but it is very important to read and know the vision and mission of some institute as well as the department before you taking admission to it. And knowing about the, where it is going to take it within, by the time, right? So, thank you for watching. If you have any other questions on it, you can write in the comment section and I can answer them later in subsequent videos. Thank you.